Hi there, thanks for tuning in. For this video, I've got a quick 10 minute get ready with me makeup routine. I actually try on a couple of different colors before I finally decide on a look for work. So if you want to see how I get my world face on and see me in a couple of different colors, keep watching. Alright, at the start of the video, I've already prepped my skin with moisturizer and I'm just going in with my Revlon Airbrush Effect Foundation. I've actually mixed this foundation in with some moisturizer as I've already come to the end of the bottle and I just want to create a tinted moisturizer. Next, I'm applying some blush to my wet foundation. Um, it's not a typical step and you can see that the color comes on really bright but the reason I'm doing this is because the next step is yeah a little too red for me the next step after this is layering my loose powder on top of this blush and what that does is it kind of makes your blush look like it's peeking through your loose powder kind of like a internal blush a semi faded kind of look if you will so i'm dusting off all the excess loose powder around my face don't forget the neck area because you need a little makeup there as well. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows very quickly. I'm using this palette from Too Faced and I'm going in with the color Sexpresso. Such a, such a kinky, kinky name for an eyeshadow, but uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job. I'm using a Q-tip because I don't really care for precision in the morning. I'm just putting some color on so that my eyebrows look kind of tame. Alrighty, next I'm going in with the Power Eyeliner using my Luckme Absolute Shine Eyeliner. Um, I like to start my eyeliner on the inside of my eye, try and get a thin line there and then drag it to the middle, do the little flick at the end and then connect the dots. That's just how I seem to get a pretty good eyeliner shape every time. Now is the decision time because I've got five colors here to try out. I'm starting out with this Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick. I got this eons ago, but I've never really had time to try it on. So I decided, meh, why not? It looks kind of natural. Uh, one thing I do like about this is that the color is really quite concentrated and with just one swipe, I got a lot of color on. But I think it kind of makes my mustache stand out a little too much, so I'm going to X this color. Uh, it was pretty easy to take off, I just used a baby wipe. And the next color I'm going in with is the Ilianto Moisture Rich shade in 312. Again, it's quite similar to the Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick. It's a touch lighter and I'm surprised by how not sticky this lip color was. I really liked it and uh, you can see here I yeah I considered it for a long time and then I tried to take it off and it wouldn't come off and if you are the type who doesn't like to reapply your lipstick you should definitely try this product because as you can see I actually had to use makeup remover to get it off. So, yeah. 
The next lip color that I tried was from Nita Cosmetics and it's the Tropical Matte Lipstick in the shade Sipadan. Uh, for a matte lipstick, it went on pretty sheer and um, it was actually quite moisturizing but I did have to go in a couple of times to get a shade that was similar to uh, what I thought it was going to be but in the end it's a pretty dope color I really liked it the sun is getting in my eye here so I was like Whoa. but yeah cute color not for today though I don't think for work maybe a date Hmm. So uh, that came off pretty easily and I proceeded with the next color which was the Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick in Choker. Uh, again, another color that I've had for a really long time, never really had a chance to use it until today. Uh, just like the previous color uh, which was Bomber, this went on really nice with one application it had that kind of uh, that kind of look you know like oh, I'm too cool too cool for school so I was like considering it quite a lot you know how your makeup affects your vibe yeah I was definitely feeling feeling the vibe of this lippy I really liked it and I felt kind of sad to take it off, but I still had one more color to go, and I was saving it for this bad boy, the Lime Crime Velveteen. Yes, this is Ruby uh, Rose Red? Ruby Rose? R Ruby Red? Anyway, since it was such a bright color, I wanted to do kind of like a gradient lip look. Like that Korean beauty trend kind of thing where you put uh, the concentration of the color on your inner lips and then you feather it out. Using a finger or a brush, um, I just used my finger here. And maybe I should have cleaned it or something, but um, I didn't get the, the gradient effect that I was going for. It's still kind of gradient. I mean, it's still kind of faded out, uh, feathered out towards the outer corner of your mouth. And then you go in again to the middle with a slightly darker color. So it creates kind of a, a gradient look. I don't know. I was trying to get that look, but I think, I don't know if it worked or if it failed. But anywho, that was the look I was going for. This color is really pretty. I don't hate it. Um, but for work, I think it's a little too bright. So I loved it though when I got it on. But I was like, nah, not for work. I don't think so. After all that's been said and done, there's only one color that can reign supreme. And that is... The Ilianto Moisture Rich Lip Color in 312. I was kind of happy that I ended up going with this look. Mostly because I love that out of all the lippies that I tried, Ilianto is probably the cheapest brand. And it had a really great matte lip that wasn't dry. It had a nice color and... Yeah, totally made me dance and I loved it. Love cheap makeup that looks good on you. That's such a win. Makeup win! Okay, so here is the final look. I decided to go with the Ilianto Brilliant Rich Lip Color in the shade 312. Um, I think it's a really nice kind of natural looks like I didn't really wear makeup kind of look which is what I'm going for I guess but thanks for watching and if you like makeup videos or if you want me to do any particular look um, just be sure to list it in the comments below and yonki
and um, I'll try and make it happen. Thanks for watching again. Bye.